Hi guys and welcome to the Marvelous Enlightenment channel. This is going to be the September monthly energy reading for the Pisces Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're interested in um, knowing exactly where this may hit you specifically, um, it can resonate with Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and Mars, but with a special emphasis on sun and rising, okay? Because we would have to know your individual charts in order to know where it's going to hit you. So from a general perspective, it can affect you in all of those other places. But that is what we have, Pisces. So this month, Pisces, when the sun shifts into Virgo, it's going to be hitting you in your seventh house. Um, One of the things that is going to be interesting um, with you, and I may step outside of the box for a little bit. I do not focus on love in these because my plan is to do a specific love energy reading as well as career. Snapshots are probably going to be one video come going forward and broken down into three, three places. Um, but I want to let you know <clears throat> that with the sun shifting into Virgo, which is highlighting your seventh house, your seventh house um, is a Libra house, okay? That seventh house is obviously about relationships with other people, governing partnerships, business, personal, relationship-associated matters like contracts, marriage, and business deals. It is ruled by Libra. The problem that you may encounter, um, and I want to let you know, when the new moon hit, it actually highlighted, again, that seventh house. The problem is, is that for you, and I'm going to ruin it a little bit, Mars enters Libra on the 14th. And although Mars enters Libra on the 14th, and this is hitting you in the Libra house, Mars is considered detriment in Libra. So... There may be more of the downside of the Libra energy or shadow side, or I just know that Libra really struggles here. It's not at a fall, but it is in detriment. So um, you may feel out of sorts. You may feel more jealousy. Um, I do know that when Libra enters, um, like I said, Mars on the 14th, it's going to activate you and it's going to be joining the sun in your eighth house, which is a whole nother thing. So I know that seventh and eighth house matters are going to be very, very, very interesting to you. Um, very, very, very important to you. Okay. I just want to stress that. Um, so you're going to be triggered. You're going to be arguing. And then we're already in Mercury retro. We're already in Mercury retrograde pre-shadow Pisces collective. And the reason why I'm telling you this <laughs> is because by the time, if I'm not mistaken, the sun moves into Libra, I believe that's when we officially go retrograde. So we're going to have three Libra things going on. And if I'm not mistaken, by that time, Venus will also be in Libra. So you're just going to get your butts handed to you all the way across the board. So I'm just trying to forewarn you that this may be a lot of going back and forth with your partners. All right, I'm done with this. Um, but I know that Libra is entering Mars. Libra will be in the sun. Libra will be in Venus. And Libra will be in Mercury, if I am not mistaken. And it's going to be retrograde. So you just going to be all jacked up. OK, so just keep that in mind, Pisces Collective. You already are lovers and not fighters. OK, so just get don't you know, don't let your jealousy write out a check that your mouth can't cash. OK, just try to take a deep breath, take a step back and handle things accordingly. All right. So. That's what's going to be your focus, seventh house stuff, all right? Let's find out what your monthly uh, believe in your own magic overall uh, theme will be. Okay, potion. This is actually a good one for you because you're being guided to remember to practice self-love. Um, there's going to be a lot of focus on you, starting um, a lot of focus on your partner, Starting this month, leading you into Libra season. So for the next two months, um, you're probably going to have, I know the sun is going to be shining. Listen, right now with the sun shifting into Virgo, it's your seventh house. <laughs> 
Mars will go into Libra on the 14th. Not even a week later, the sun shifts into Libra, which is going to then be your eighth house. <laughs> so those houses are either way, it's either going to be partnerships and the bonds that you have with people for you for the next two months, period. So when we talk about it next month, I will break down specifically career and love for you guys, but I'm giving you a little hint right now because there's going to be a lot of Libra, um, you know, that's bothering you, a lot of Libra energy. So your first, your first cross is Libra. Your second cross is <laughs> Virgo because it's Virgo season. All right. And I'm going to give you your third and fourth cross in a minute. Let's go into the card of 24 and talk about how, and this is potion. You're familiar with the concepts, the concepts of self-love and self-care, Pisces Collective, but either you've never actively practiced them or they've been something that you've fallen behind on. Either way, you should get back on track. Keep your yourself maintained and always, whether they are big or small, okay? That can mean calling it quits to taking a luxurious bath instead. Or that can mean putting on a rose water face mask and getting out your planner so you can sort your life out before it gets too out of control. So right now, I'm telling you right now, you are going to be focused on other people so much, which you probably already are, that you're being guided while you're balancing those energies out, lovelies. Take a step back and focus on Pisces. Um, because there's going to be a whole lot, a lot of, and when this, I'm telling you, um, it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough for you. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. And let me say, uh, just to piss you off even more, the full moon that we have on the 20th is in your sign. <laughs> It's just like Pisces, my my lovely fish. You are getting really beat up this month. Um, yes, this is gonna be a good time for you to sit down somewhere. You you need to. Um, Pisces full moon. Okay, it, that's the time that you need to take a chill pill. But this is what this potion is about. So whatever relaxes you, I can't tell you what to do in your life. You know, but if you if if there are some type of herbs to calm you down go for it let's go into your spiritual message you're being guided this month pisces collective to you're gonna be finalizing some things too like really finalizing some things um in partnerships either in business or here we go signs you're being guided Instincts are a message from inner divine. There is a sign and that sign that you're getting from divine is telling you to take a specific action, whether that be to move into something, to move out of something. That's what's being guided. You also have humility. You're going to have three cards because two came out together. Allow me divine to always accept the right assistance. I welcome help in every way and delight in receiving it. Okay. Okay. So it's time, you see what that person is doing? It's time to pray for some of you guys. And then finally, trust. Allow me, divine, to give you my deepest longings, trusting you to know exactly how to handle them. It's time to, and here we go. That's at the top of the deck, but we're going to stop it there. That was companionship. So I know that you have a lot that you're dealing with and you're being guided to give it away. Give it to divine or whomever you pray to allow those entities, those people, places or things, uh, what you believe in, um, things that are higher than you, people that are higher than you, the spirit, you know, your God that you pray to, whatever it is, give it, give it to God. Okay. Now we're going to get into your closing energy by way of the green, Witch Oracle, this is going to let me know what other ties you may have, Pisces, who you are connecting with, another energy um, that you may need to worry about. It's an oracle message as well as giving you a little bit of inspiration on how you can attract that into your life with what's in this deck. All right, spirit, show me what we have for Pisces. 
We have longevity. Ooh. So this is a chrysanthemum. They are so beautiful. I love chrysanthemums. And it looks like you're crossing with a, let me check. That's either Virgo. What is this? This is Earth. This is Virgo. And this is Virgo season. All right. So listen, I thought that that was Virgo and not Scorpio because I know they look alike. It may be Scorpio. Hold on. The card of 39. 39. What does 39 mean to you? What does nine plus three, which is the sum, the sum of those numbers is 12. What does 12 mean to you? And then we break that down again. What does one plus two mean to you? We go and we, 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 we uh, go down all the way to a three. Three is about growth. It carries a vibration of growth. Where are you stopping growth in your life? Pisces collective. Let's talk about longevity right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Emotion was out too. Wow. I knew you was going to get two. I was thinking what, honestly, it was stuck to the book. It was out. It did not let me put it back. Emotion. Cancer. This is the cucumber. Wow, Pisces. This is four. Four is about stability. This is a very specific message for you guys. You have longevity, which is the chrysanthemum. The flower and you also have cucumber which is a vegetable let's talk about it you are not crossing with anybody else right now um, but I will say that you Wow you Scorpio and Capricorn got more than one card you and Scorpio both got two of these cards and Capricorn got three. So tell me about those connections with those individuals. Do you have Capricorn and Scorpio both in your chart? This is your message. Let's get started with longevity, the card of 39. Again, we've already broke down those angel numbers, life path numbers. We already broke down the number part of that. This is longevity. This is is the chrysanthemum this is a scorpio tie if you're interested in a glossary vegetables are earth okay and flowers are air however those are those elements the astrological sign may be different so you know the more energy you got going on you know, the, the more this should apply to you. A phase in which we trust completion. A sense of belonging and peace has been reached is signified by the appearance of chrysanthemums. Deeper intimacy in relationships is highlighted. And you may want to explore this area of your life as a long-term commitment needs attention. A cycle of learning is coming to an end. Or you now have all of the facts that you require. Creative blocks, melancholy, and weak boundaries are challenges for you. Truth, love, cheerfulness, healing, boundaries, keywords, astrological sign of Scorpio is starting now. Because next month, when the sun shifts into Libra, it's going into your eighth house, Pisces. Get started right now, all right? We also have emotion, the card of four, the card of four. We have <laughs> a cancer card. This is a vegetable. Any uncertainties that may have been hanging around you should begin to fall away soon. A commitment or even perhaps a major life decision will come up and you are adv advised to hold, to take hold of your emotions before you determine the right path for you. Someone near may express themselves in an unsettling way. So try to ride that wave gently until it passes. It could be time to step, to take a new step forward. Cancer, keywords, chastity, commitment, prosperity, improvement, advanced expansion, astrological sign, cancer. Okay, the moon and Venus. This is all up and through here. Let me tell you, if you're interested in longevity, if you're interested 
and the emotion spell, please go ahead. You got the Cancer and the, and the, and the Scorpio card. Do you have both of these in your chart? Woo, woo, woo. If you are a Pisces with all three of the water signs in your chart, please, this is your reading. Like, share, and subscribe. Guys, this was beautiful. You're being guided to trust this path forward. With humility, take the signs, trust, give it to divine. But more importantly, you have to make some real deep decisions with regards to your longevity. This was a little bit longer, Pisces. I needed to take an extra couple of uh, minutes or moments with you. Remember self-care because you have some really big decisions coming up. And I'm, I'm going to tell you in November, and I believe I told this to Capricorns, they have big decisions to make too. And in November, um, a lot of these, um, a lot of the signs that are, or the planets that are now retrograde will be full steam ahead in October. So in November it's popping, it's popping because remember, and you, maybe you don't remember, I may do a year in or whatever. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, is, is a lot of work to put those together, but I'm going to tell you, I know for a fact that there is um, going to be full steam ahead and there's going to be a lot of things coming to close and, of course, beginning. And we're going to be kicking off the new year, which is right around the corner with a Venus in retrograde. So get your life right now, uh, uh, Pisces. <laughs> See you next month. Bye, Pisces.